Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. Now, in this episode, I am going to discuss the pros and cons of doing a merged inherited lambda like I've demonstrated in the last couple of episodes, or in using a generic lambda from C++14. So I left off last week with this code, and granted this is a little bit muddied, it's more than we need, so we're going to take it back just a bit, and we're going to look at our double and integer overloads for our merged lambda. So here we have the ability to sum up all the integers, sum up all the doubles, use our visitor, and return the total number from the integers. Now, C++14 actually affords a different way to do this. And so what I would like to kind of drive at is if we wanted to do an integer total, a double total, and a grand total, let's, we're going to do with a common type just because we can. Now, if this common type T and decal type um, stuff doesn't make a lot of sense to you, don't worry about it at the moment. I just wanted to throw this out here as a way of saying it's possible to ask the compiler what the best type is to generate this grand total for us. So if we wanted to create the grand total, then we would need to do something like this. Now, let's be fair that this example is a little contrived. There are definitely uh, other ways that we could have done this, like, for instance, simply adding int total and double total together. But what I want to get at is that there's no way to share values between our various overloads in our visitor unless we explicitly do that with our captures, which we are demonstrating here. But generic lambdas give us um, a different possibility. So let's look at what that would look like. So we're easily able to add in our grand total, but now we'll need to bring in just a teeny bit of C++17. So now by using a if const expr from C++17, we're able to say, well, if we happen to be processing a double at this point, then let's go ahead and add that to the double total. Otherwise, we know that it's an int. Well, for the sake of our code, we know that it's an int. This is perhaps a bit of a shortcut because this is a generic lambda for our generic visitor. It could be doing um, a heck of a lot more than that. So now with our generic visitor, we can capture our generic visitor here and visit our generic visitor and walk over the values this way. So this is definitely another option and from the standpoint of our compiled code it's going to look pretty much the same. We can go ahead and comment this out just to make sure that it's not adding anything to our output code, but I don't believe it is. No, it's not. So this is still something that GCC still isn't quite able to fully optimize, but uh, it does provide another interesting possibility for if you need to create some sort of visitor that can work over multiple types. And it has the advantage of them being able to share values between all of the different possible instantiations of the generic lambda, whereas our visitor that we generated by inheriting from multiple different lambdas has no way to share values between them unless we explicitly capture them. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.